On today's episode, we're going to look at the electronic power steering system for the tractor. So why would you want power steering? Well, it's so I can operate the loader with one hand and steer with the other. Electric power steering uses an electric motor to assist the steering. A computer module receives information from several sensors and decides which level of assistance the electric motor should deliver to the steering. When you install an electric steering column from a Saturn view to your tractor, it won't work because the ECU is not receiving the information. This is why we need a controller unit. We'll talk about this a little bit later. But first, let's look at how I have the EPS installed on the tractor. Once we remove the cover, we can see the EPS unit. This one was from a Saturn view. I think a 2002 to 2007 model. It took about 30 minutes in the junkyard to remove and I paid about $40. You really can't beat that value. This EPS comes with the control module bolted to it. I had to remove that to fit everything under the dash I made. So that's been tucked away in the battery tray. You'll see that later. The EPS is mounted to the tractor using three points. This is the rear mount. This is the front mount. And the final mount is to the left side. The mounts correspond to the stock bolt locations for the EPS. And this worked out well because it kept the steering shaft in line with the EPS unit. I just used a coupler to join the two. Here's the module I talked about earlier that was bolted to the EPS. I tucked it in here to keep it out of the weather. This heavy gauge wire here is the main 12 volt source. It's fused right here and connected to the battery. Now remember when we said this won't work because the ECU is not receiving the information? That's why you need this controller unit. It sends information to the ECU according to the position of the knob. You can pick these up from a variety of places, but I think eBay is probably the easiest and cheapest around. Here it is here, tucked at the bottom of the battery tray. The position of this knob will determine the steering assistance level. I tend to like mine about midway up. And the final component is this cover. It's made from 16 gauge steel and it's just meant to keep everything looking nice and keep the components out of the weather. It's held in place with these three screws here and I got that from the original power steering unit and two at the back. And here's the knob. I haven't had any issues with the power steering module draining the battery, but I do put it on a charger from time to time. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.